So the next person we'll have is Professor Abuya. Morning all. I wanted to ask the previous speaker what that uh, statement actually meant, the last statement. I understood until I agree with Professor Lumumba, but the rest I just could not follow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, um, like Ma had said when I got the questions, I was a bit, um, not, a bit confused on what the questions are, so I turned them around and I'm going to discuss my experience with the law and language in two spaces. The first will be <clears throat> in a classroom setting because I teach at the University of Nairobi. And uh, then I'll tell you about a different, another project that I'm doing which comes close to something to do with law and language. Law students, essentially the, the end game is either they do uh, court, court work or they do policy work. So in uh, those two spaces, what I've come to discover in the last couple of years is that uh, some of our students really struggle to communicate in Swahili. I heard some speakers saying, yeah, yeah let Swahili be the main language, but uh, it, it's difficult for them to communicate. So what uh, Wasamba said, he, was con he is still looking for the, word, the Swahili word for jurisprudence. Me, I'm looking for the Swahili word for riparian. I don't <laughs> I don't know whether anybody can help me out here. I see maybe my classmates who are seated here, one of them will tell me what riparian means in uh, Swahili. But so, so, so in order to sort of uh, get us started on Swahili, what I do with some of the, in some of the classes is uh, to make the students write their submissions in Swahili. So we have a practical situation and then I say, okay, uh, let's do your submissions in Swahili. And it's interesting first to see the faces when you say write in Swahili because so what is the equivalent word of article this in Swahili or how will I work it out? And then uh, once they write them then in Swahili is uh, you give them a, to critique somebody's writing in Swahili. And sometimes the answers that you get are very, very hilarious because of that disconnect um, of the two languages. I hope the project delivers, I'm not sure, but well, we see how far it goes. But once I get the meaning of riparian, I think we will have delivered. Now, uh, the second space is a, a project that I was involved in, and I still work on it, on disability rights. And uh, most of the time when we talk law and language, uh, it's the different languages that we use, but there is a language now called the Kenya Sign Language. Have we heard of it? And I now know that there is Kenya, and then they talk about the American sign language. And uh, it, it's a fascinating uh, language in itself when it comes to communication. Part of it is uh, I'm now in sort of the, if you, the people who know madrasa, the very basic madrasa class here, yeah? where they teach you the very, very basic language. But it's an interesting course in the sense that uh, most of it uh, uses uh, just logic in terms of communication. And I don't know in USIU whether you have any deaf students who come to class. But I know in Parklands, we, for the longest time, we've never had a deaf student because of issues um, translation. So I'm going to do a very short, um, share some of the words that I've come to learn. And uh, Professor Mbote is going to interpret for us what all those words mean, yeah? The, moder the three moderators, yeah? So recently we had a competition, isn't it, yeah? A huge competition across the world, right? So what do you think this one means? That one means the World Cup, yeah? Yeah, just logic, isn't it, yeah? Now, <clears throat> when you go, there's a town that you go to Ke in Kenya, and when you go into the water, the water is salty. Do you know which town that is? It's Mombasa, isn't it? So for Mombasa, they do this i.e. when water gets, salty water gets into your eyes, it does what? In a kuasha, see you? And that is Mombasa. Uh, what do you think this means? Jesus, yes. Because Jesus was what? Crucified, okay? Uh, what do you think, uh, now the other one is a bit difficult for you guys, yeah? I try you? Okay, what do you think this means? Not sad. P sorry, yes. Okay. 
And, and, and just, just the way the other speaker said is when you speak in the, in the deaf language, it's all about your expression. So you can't speak sorry and you're smiling, yeah? <laughs> okay, so, so, so for me that has been a very, very fascinating space that, that I hope some of the discussions that we're going to have, you know, because we talk about the most of it is the verbal, isn't it, yeah? But there's a lot of non-verbal that uh, goes around it. So when they watch, uh, I've watched soccer with them, when they watch Manchester United play, Manchester is a sign of a man, so a man has beards, man, and then you, the letter U. And so they say, man, you, was beaten. So that means they were hit, they were kicked in the butt, yeah? And it's so fascinating when they say that, yeah? So it, it's something else that I, that, uh, I, I think, uh, as we talk about law and language, it's a different language that uh, would make a lot of sense if we think in terms of either law and language or language and law. Thank you for that. <laughs>